But that, it was nice to sit. The thing we said earlier in the week about our team is it doesn't matter what type of game we want to play, we can win that game. If it's a grinded out game like our Shepherd game was uh, two weeks ago, if it's a shootout like we had today, if it's a game where we have to run the ball a lot, game where we have to throw the ball a lot, a game where we may have to defend the pass a lot, a game where we may have to defend it. doesn't matter what type of game it is, what type of weather it is. We're an all-weather football team that can win in any type of conditions you have. And, and today, we saw that. that it, were, it was a different scenario. It was a different environment than what you saw in the Shepard game and the fact that now today, offensively, we're clicking a little better than our defense was, but it doesn't matter. The, the one thing we're trying to do is, is we didn't ever want to let the other side of the ball fail. And off, offensively against Shepard, we failed a lot, and our defense picked us up and made a lot of its plays. Today, early on, our defense failed a lot, and our offense picked up the pace. So it doesn't matter. It's team football. I know, I mean, 691 yards uh, that they had against us, I mean, that's – not something we're happy about, but at the end of the day, throw the stats out and get a win and move on to next week. And, and the kids played, the kids competed. Um, first half, I thought went was about as poorly as it could have defensively, but those guys regrouped. Those guys found something in them and, and they made the stops they needed to make. Um, but hats off to Westchester. I mean, they they, uh, they were lights out offensively and defensively, they were stingy enough to uh, to make some stops that they, they did a better job than anyone's ever done as far as forcing fumbles and creating turnovers and different things like that. So they, uh, they're, a, they're a great football team. Uh, they were a national semifinals last year. So there's a lot that we have to be proud of. It's the first time a Concord team's ever won 12 games, first time we ever won a playoff game. So there's a lot of accomplishments. Uh, I think it's big for, our, big for our school. It's really big for our conference. Uh, and it's, it's, it's something we're all very proud of. And, and we live to survive another week. It was a close game, and uh, we've been in these situations before. And <clears throat> like we say, never panic. You know, no matter what kind of game we're in, like Coach Justice talks about, whether offense needs it or defense needs it, whatever kind of game we're in, we know that we're not going to panic. We're going to keep playing fundamental, fundamentally sound football and come out and just trying to execute our best. The offensive line gave me a Gary Hill. We practiced and repped that all week. It looked exactly the same as we practiced it. Took it across the field, and we had T.J. Smith down there with the block to finish it off all the way. Uh, I couldn't have done it without them. It was a great momentum shift in the game as well. So it was good. How big do you think that was for you guys? How big of a boost was it? I think it was a, a pretty big boost, especially coming off uh, the half and everything. So it really helped us out with the momentum change and shift. What do you think gives you better running goals? Obviously the line or uh, possibly just the passing attack you guys have. It seems like obviously they're kind of complimentary for you. And both of them, absolutely. The pass gets them scooting back, the back, back off, and then the holes open up, and the offensive line, they do a great job securing their blocks and giving me a read. So they both definitely complement each other. Cal, now you had 25 out of the 32 rushes today. Uh, how did it feel out there to you? It felt great to be back out there on the field. We had a bye week coming back. It felt great, fresh legs, and just be able to get back after it and do what we do best.